Hey guys, Marco here from Aviero Live CS. Welcome back to the channel. Today we will continue reviewing the Boeing 737 flight instruments and displays. And we are going to talk about the outboard display. What we have there and what we are supposed to see during the takeoff phase of flight. We will be using the Microsoft Flight Simulator and PMDG for this. So let's get started. Here we can see the displays we have on the Boeing 737-800NG. And we'll start with the Captain Outboard Display Unit right here. And this is the Captain Inboard Display Unit. We have the Upper Display Unit here. First Officer's Inboard Display Unit. The First Officer Outboard Display Unit. And right here we have the Lower Display Unit. Right now the Lower Display Unit is blank. But if we select Systems here, we will see information about the hydraulic system so let's have a look to the captain outboard display okay so the image on the right side is what we find in fcon volume 2 with all the explanation about what we have in the captain outboard display uh, on the left one uh, we have it ready for a flight and this is how it usually looks when uh, we are uh, ready to fly in this case, we are almost ready to go. We are on the runway in Dubai International Airport. We are going to fly to uh, an airport in Istanbul. And I want to show you during different phases of flight what we can see in the outboard display and the inboard display. So let's talk about the captain outboard display. What we have here is the flight mode annunciator, which uh, even though it's a different chapter, we will talk about it a little bit during the flight. And then we have the airspeed and Mach indications. We have attitude indications. Autopilot flight director system status. Altitude indications. Vertical speed indications right here. And the heading track indication right there. And here we have the captain inboard display, which shows the navigation display. So as we can read in FCOM 2, it says displays map, approach, viewer, or plan modes as selected on the EFIS control panel. So here you have the EFIS control panel for the captain. And as you can see here, we have the approach, viewer, map, and plan modes. Now let's see what we have in the airspeed indications. And this is a general information where we are talking about. The PFD airspeed indication displays air data inertia reference system airspeed and other airspeed related information. We can see here, uh, number one is the selected speed, which is magenta, and displays target speed. Indicates the airspeed manually selected in the indicated airspeed MAC window indicates the FMC computed airspeed when the indicated airspeed mag window is blank. Okay, during the takeoff roll, what is going to happen is the following. We are going to press toga switch and we are going to see N1 toga and we'll start the takeoff roll. So eventually we're going to see the speed trend vector, which is green. And the tip of the arrow indicates the predictor airspeed in the next 10 seconds based on the current airspeed and acceleration. Right here, we are going to see the current airspeed. It indicates current calibrator airspeed when above 45 knots. We can also see here the speed box, which is magenta. It points to the airspeed. Manually selected in the indicated airspeed map window, indicates the FMC computed airspeed when the indicated airspeed mag window is blank. When the selected speed is off scale, the bug is parked at the top or bottom of the tape with only one half bug visible. And this is what is happening right now. You can see only half bug. Here we have the current mag ground speed, which is white, indicates current mag or ground speed. Displays MAC when airspeed is 0.4 MAC and above. Displays ground speed when airspeed decreases below 0.4 MAC. When transitioning from MAC to ground speed or from ground speed to MAC, a white box 
shows around the numeric value for 10 seconds. So now that we are going to start the takeoff roll, I just want to give you a heads up about the things we're going to see in the speed tape. We still need to talk about some stuff uh, about the airspeed indications, but I think it will be better to see it once we are in flight. Like uh, if you can see in the image on the right, you can see number four and five. Uh, number four is the maximum operating speed, which is red and black. The bottom of the bar indicates the maximum speed as limited by the lowest of the following. VMO, MMO, landing gear, plucker speed, flap, plucker speed. Number five is the maximum maneuver speed, high speed buffer, which is amber. And once we are in flight again, we are going to see it. When flaps are up, the bottom of the amber bar indicates the maximum maneuver speed. This airspeed provides 1.3G maneuver capability to high speed buffet, or an alternative approved maneuver capability set in the FMC maintenance pages. The bar may be displayed when operating at high altitude at relatively high gross weights. So 1.3G maneuver capability occurs at 40 degrees of bank in level flight. Now, on the right side, you can see the airspeed indications for takeoff. So let's see what we have here. Number one is the bug five, which is white. Displayed if a speed reference selector on the engine display control panel is in the bug five position or set position and value greater than 60 knots has been selected. So this is the speed reference selector on the engine display panel. And you can see this is the bug five position and this is the set position. So if we have set that here, we will see the bug five white. It's not available if the speed reference selector is in the auto position, which is the normal position we use here. Number two is the flaps maneuvering speeds, green, indicates flap maneuvering speed for the displayed flap position. Displayed after gross weight is entering the CDU or after takeoff gross weight is set with the speed reference selector. When the V2 plus 15 bug is displayed for takeoff, the flap maneuvering speed bug for the current flap setting is not displayed, except for flaps one takeoff. Numbered flap maneuvering speed bugs are removed when flap lever is moved to flap 30 or 40. In this case, we will see at some point after takeoff, you are going to see the number one because we are taking off with flaps one. Flat box inhibited if less than V rest pro four, up box not displayed above approximately 20,000 feet altitude. Number three is the V2 plus 15, which is white displayed for takeoff, removed when either of the following occurs. At first flap retraction, when VREF is entered in the CDU. Number four, takeoff reference speeds, which uh, you can see V1 here. We, we cannot see VR yet, but we will see it once we are in the takeoff roll. Indicates V1, which is the decision speed, and VR, rotation speed, as selected on the CDU takeoff reference page, or as said, with the speed reference selector switch. Amber, no V speed is displayed on the ground if V1 and VR are not selected on the CDU or are not set with the speed reference selector. Displayed for takeoff when a speed is greater than 80 knots, removed at least off, V1 speed is displayed at the top of the airspeed indication when selected and value is off scale. V1 is automatically called out by voice oral. And also, once we are in flight, we'll see the minimum maneuver speed, which is amber. The amber bar is displayed with the first flap retraction after takeoff or when a valid VREF is entered. Top of amber bar indicates minimum maneuver speed. This air speed provides 1.3 maneuver capability to stitch shaker below approximately 20,000 feet. 1.3 G maneuver capability to lower speed buffet or an alternative approved maneuver capability set in the FMC maintenance pages above approximately 20,000 feet. 
Caution, reduce maneuver capability exists when operating within the ambient regions below the minimum maneuver speed or above the maximum maneuver speed. Through non-normal conditions, the target speed may be below the minimum maneuver speed. And then you can see number six, minimum speed, red and black. Top of bar indicates the speed at which stick shaker occurs. So that's what we can expect to see during takeoff. Uh, later on, when we start the approach, we'll talk about the other stuff related to the approach phase of flight. Let's press the toggle switch and let's go flying. So here we go, and you can see N1 toga and you see the speed trend. You can see V1 coming and VR. And this is the V2 plus 15 bug. Now autopilot is engaged. You can see the flap maneuvering speeds here. For flap one and flap up. So we can here actually open the speed window just for you to see, if we open the speed window, we can set the up speed. Once we are approaching flap one, it's maneuver speed, we can select flaps up. And you can see the flaps are retracting here. So now we can see the minimum speed, which is red and black. Remember, we talked about it. And here we can see the minimum maneuver speed band, which is amber. So now we just continue our climb, and uh, this is what we can expect to see most of the time with the air speed indications during takeoff. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now, and don't forget to hit that bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. If you think these videos could be useful for somebody else, please share them. And that's going to help me a lot to grow the channel. So next week, we will continue reviewing the Boeing 737-800NG flight instruments and displays. We will keep reviewing the outboard display and we'll have a look to the inboard display as well. Until then, guys, take care and hope to see you soon.